and welcome back to my channel. He always lives in this rocking chair and I feel like he just needs to feature in the videos because he's my baby and I love him. But he's going to be right in the way so he's just going to sit by the camera. So if this video is bad and, you know, technically awful, blame Billy, he's the cameraman. Okay, so a few things to address. New setup new location here so I'm sorry the lighting is really bad you can see like the shadow of the ring light um, I literally just have a ring light that's it um, I am looking into getting some soft boxes but that's not going to be for a while um, you girls got debts to pay <laughs> I don't know why I said there's a few things to address I feel like this is the only thing I don't know if I've told you guys about this tattoo before but I'm probably gonna do like a tattoo tag or something soon so you'll see this bitch um, I really want to carry on like the half sleeve in this style with this artist, but he moved to Manchester, so cool. So I'm gonna have to wait. Anyways, let's get on with this video. So pumpkin, no, okay. So today's video is a Halloween haul or a Halloween, if you will. I've been so excited to film this. So I've picked up various bits from various shops and I've just kept putting them in a pile. So I haven't put anything out or used anything bar a couple of pieces so I'm so excited to get this video done so I can finally use the things I feel really like powerful in this rocking chair which is from Ikea and these bat thingies are from John Lewis um, I got them last year but they usually have them every year so yeah okay I'm gonna start so my friend Demi my bestie um, drove me to the range and to TK Maxx slash HomeSense because I can't get to them because I don't drive and my dad has a new job now where he's away like most of the time so I have no mode of transport um, yes so she kindly suggested we go Halloween shopping together and we went to some cute places and picked up some stuff she spent most of her money on fireworks which was hilarious like we are both quite short petite females and we're there carrying these massive huge fireworks back to her tiny little car people are probably thinking what the fuck are these bitches doing anyways so the first things i'm going to show you are from the range i only got a couple of bits because their range <laughs> um, is mostly kind of typical halloween decorations so cheap and cheerful basically and i tend to go for things that are more like home decor that i can use all year round because you know Halloween every day so yeah right let's just get into it so the first thing I picked up not necessarily Halloween but it's this photo frame here please excuse the random image in there that's really weird and it's like a really shit quality image as well it's like printed on like normal paper so that's hilarious so I got this to go on my wall um, of all the different pictures and stuff if you haven't seen it um, it's on my Instagram which I'll link below it's so cute um, so this was 5 99 and it was the last one there um, So I don't know if this was supposed to be in like some kind of special range I don't know but I picked it up and I'm so happy with it. It's so fucking cute The only other thing I got from the range is this spooky doormat I'm so in love. It's so cute. It's just got all these black bats over it um, I am gonna do a story time about my last doormat because um Everyone in my building hates me, so I don't have a doormat anymore. Um, I will, yeah, I will do a story time, and when I do story time, will be linked below. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this mat. It's so cute, and it's not like over the top that it's going to be weird all year round, but it's still spooky. Um, I can't remember. I want to say this was either three ninety nine or four ninety nine. Either way, it's cheaper than my last one, and it's super fucking cute. And as you can tell, I love freaking bats. Mm, okay. The next thing I'm going to show is from New Look. So their online Halloween range is super cute, but I never ordered anything off. Oh my God, now she's going to my makeup desk. Just leave it alone. She's been so good, like sleeping the whole time I've been getting ready. So she wasn't like trying to attack my makeup brushes like normal. But now I'm filming, she's awake and rummaging through everything. Cool. Okay, so yes, um, I don't tend to order online because I'm a very impulsive person. <coughs> Ooh. I'm an impulsive buyer so if I see it I'm having it um, I don't tend to shop around online because it's so much effort and you have to scroll through so much crap um, so yeah I'm not really an online shopper so 
I haven't picked up any of their online stuff. The only thing I found in store that was Halloween-y were these little socks. They say Halloween. Is that in focus? Focus, bitch. I think they're in focus. Um, so they're just in one size. They're two forty-nine or three for five pounds. But I didn't see any others that I liked. It was literally just these. Um, so yeah, these are super cute. Haven't worn them yet. I'm really disappointed by the lack of Halloween socks I've found this year. I've literally got some Pusheen ones which aren't here because I've worn them and they're all over the show. Yeah, and this. I'm so mad. Like, I always see people, like, picking up my socks for the year from Target and they're so fucking cute and I'm like, must be nice. Now she's chewing a broomstick. She, honestly. I picked up something from H&M, which can we just... Usually the Halloween stuff is so freaking good and I'm like, I'm having this, and this, one of those, two of those, got to stock up and I just, like, go fucking mad. This year, luckily for my bank account, their Halloween stuff is so crap. Yes, I was going to buy the Exorcist t-shirt, but it was a bit too graphic-y for my liking, so I just picked up the Friday the 13th one, which <laughs> I've only actually watched that film this year it's so bad. I'm always like, I love horror, but I haven't seen a lot of the classic horror films. Um, I tend to just binge whatever's on Netflix. But yes, so I finally watched the film. I fucking love it. That iconic moment where Jason finds his mask, I'm like, I loved it. So yeah. Um, this was $8.99. I got it in a medium, so it's like oversized. And I'm going to be posting a picture on Instagram of me wearing this. So I'm going to tag that down below if y'all want to like my pictures because my reach at the moment is horrifying. Um, yeah. So check out my Insta. The next thing I'm going to show you, I picked up from Asda. Again, their Halloween range. Really disappointing. The one thing I picked up is this light, which is a bat. And. You press this button and it, okay, you can't see that very well, but if I turn my actual lights down, still can't see it very well, okay. Again, I'm probably going to post this on my Insta because it's so fucking cute. Um, yeah, so if you want to see what that like looks like, then check it out. I'm kind of worried that it looks a bit Batman-y. Um, I'm not like a superhero person, couldn't even tell you if he's Marvel or DC, not a clue. Um, and I don't want to look like it's Batman-y, but I think because it glows purple, I think I'm okay. They did have a ghost one as well that glowed white, but I don't know, it wasn't as cute as this one, so I just got this one. But then I also realised that in Tiger, they sell the same thing, but it's not on a stand, you can attach it to the wall, which probably would have been better. Um, so I would have got the one in Tiger, it was the same price as well. But yeah. So make your decision if you want a freestanding one, Asda, if you want a hangy one, Tiger, your girl's got you. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you was gifted to me by a lovely lady I work with. Um, I'm pretty sure she said it was from Sainsbury's and it's this cute little tinselly cat. Oh, his little whiskers are crooked and he has his little hat on. Oh my god, I love him. She said that he can be a friend for pumpkins, so that's really cute. She also bought my friend Demi one. And yeah, I'm in love. I don't know how much this was. I obviously didn't ask because it's a gift. But yeah, so if they have any of these left in your local Sainsbury's, pick one up and we can have kitten twinsies and we'll basically be friends forever. So yeah. Two things from Primark. I actually got some PJs as well, but they're not clean at the moment, so I can't show those. But again, they'll probably be on my Instagram. Basically, if you're interested in what any of these things look like, they will probably be on my Instagram because they're so fucking cute. So these are two little lip balms from, or lip glosses from Primark. There's um, a pumpkin and a cauldron with like some green bubbly stuff and a little skull on the side. They were 150 each. I'm really not asked about the actual lip gloss, but they're just, they look cute. So they're probably gonna sit on my vanity or something. <laughs> I'm just so obsessed. Everything else in this haul is from TK Maxx slash HomeSense. They are the same store, right? I mean, I, I don't know but so they're either from my local one which is in Southampton or the big home sense TK Maxx in Hedge End not that that matters to you guys because they do the same stuff everywhere but yeah so the first thing I got this year is this huge pumpkin plushy guy so my original plan was to have him as a cushion on the sofa but he's fish um yeah he's really like wide so he sticks out too far compared to the other cushions um, but I don't want him on my bed either because he he clashes with like all my stuffies so he kind of just squishes into the corner bit of the sofa 
Um, but I feel like he'd also look cute on my rocking chair, so maybe he will replace Nebula, my cute little ghosty. This was from Monkey, I think that's how you say it. M-O-N-K-I in Carnaby Street. Um, yeah, so I think he's going to replace him. But yeah, super cute. The next thing is a honey pumpkin candle, which has this like cute ombre. Um, oh, there's pumpkin in the background. She can try and take my bats. Yes, this cute like orange to goldy yellowy ombre. It smells so good. I love anything that's Halloween scented. It's kind of almost like like with the honey in there. It's kind of cookie, pumpkin cookie type thing. It just smells like autumn or winter to me, they're like my favourite scents. I know they can be a bit rich or a bit sickly for some people, but I live for this shit. Um, so it says it burns for about 33 hours. Pumpkin, can we not? <laughs> so, um, I've already burned this a little bit and I'm in love with the scent and this was 5 99 which I think is a good price for this massive. That's the video, we're going to be missing some bats. If anyone has any tips on how to stop her attacking them, please let me know. Okay, next thing, I got a couple of bits for the kitchen. So I got these glass, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. Maybe I need to like put something in there. You can see that a bit better? Probably not because the light's on it. Okay, I'm probably going to have to link these down below if they've still got them in the TK Max website. Basically, they are two, well, this is only one, but I bought two tumblers that say Cheers Witches, and it's got a little witch's hat, and then some, like, bubbly glasses, like, clinking together. Um, they did have this black and gold pattern on the bottom, if it's focusing and you can see that. Um, but I've washed this twice, and it's already come away a little bit on this one and completely on the other one. Um, so they, they are hand washable, but this bottom bit got very damaged. Um, maybe I just have the water too hot. I don't know. But yeah, these are really cute and I really like them. And Jake always uses them, so that's good. The next bit I got for the kitchen is this. So it's supposed to be a candy jar, but I keep my sugar in there. Um, so I keep them on the side. I have this one, which has a little black cat. And is that, yeah, a black cat, some pumpkins, some moons or a moon and some bats so it's super halloweeny and then i have another one that's the exact same but instead of this um cat it's a witch sitting on the moon and in that one i keep my um rose flavored tea bags these were 7.99 each so kind of pricey but they're definitely cuter than the ones that we had we just when we moved in we bought just like basic kitchen stuff for cheap because we didn't have a lot of money so they were just like ugly plain black ones but these are so cute i should have got a third one for coffee but they didn't have a different one and i didn't want to get two of the same so maybe i'll check online or check in store again but yeah i'm so happy with these they're so cute the next thing i picked up was a mug i tend to get a mug every year and i try and stop myself because our cupboard where our mugs are is overflowing we have to store them in like a million places there's just like mugs everywhere um a lot of people suggest like putting my makeup brushes in them but i already have cute pots for those so i don't know um so it's a ouija board mug and it's like a really big size compared to my hand i have kind of big hands um it's a massive mug so it says spirits drink um and then on the back it has this really cute detail where it's like a woman with a planchette and then some like I want to say like a ghosty thing behind her, like, hey bitch, oh my god, my stomach. So yeah, this was 3 99 Hello? We good? Yes, this was 3 99 which is a really good size for this massive mug. I don't know how much it holds. Next thing, which is probably supposed to be for the kitchen, for like, um, when you display cakes and stuff, but it's probably going to end up on my dining table or just on display, is this stand thingy so it's got three like legs but they're skulls i'm gonna take this off yeah so these three skull leg thingies that are quite detailed and then it's like metallic silver thingy and then it has this dome that sits on top of it and it has another skull dude on the top so it's from the brand hallows eve and it costs 9.99 i'm thinking about maybe putting like doll parts or something in there i don't know if you have any cool suggestions let me know and yeah i'm in love with this it's so cute the next thing i picked up is something practical that is cute and also spooky so it's this it's like a brush and a pan set and it's got these cute little skulls on it this was only 3 99 and um, it'll just be like useful to like brush the crumbs off of the side and off of the cooker and stuff like that and it's because it's got that loop 
um, I'll be able to just like hang it on the side of the worktop so it will always be there and just easy to reach and easy to use so yeah I'm super happy with this it's so cute next thing I picked up is extra AF it is a candelabra um, so it's black and it's kind of like um like a resin it's not china or anything like that or plastic um, so it's got this huge skull with a bottom and then it comes up into three candlesticks and they're all skulls with these like almost like roses um, and it's got like a decent sturdy base as well so it's not going to topple over this was 9 99 a little pricey um, in my opinion I don't seem to spend a lot on candelabras I usually try and find them when they're um, on offer so this is my fourth candelabra I think and um, this is definitely the most expensive one so far but I couldn't help myself it's so cute and it matches my dressing table really really well so I might put it on there for display purposes because I'm in love okay next thing I got looks kind of gross because it's got like sellotape on it maybe I should just take that off so next thing I got is for my dressing table again it's this so it kind of looks like a quilted material but it's I want to say it's like china but not why does nothing say what material it is i guess most people don't care um yeah i don't know kind of chinery not resiny i don't really know what it is sturdy though um little what do they call them like vanity pots uh jewelry pot maybe i don't know what it's supposed to be but it's got this cute little skull dude on top and it's just really simplistic but spooky at the same time and I'm going to use it to put my beauty blenders in because pumpkin loves to eat them and attack them play with them and the last thing from my Halloween haul this year is a candle so it is tobacco pipe scented which sounds like something I wouldn't normally go for like why are you not focusing do we want to oh oh there we go, tobacco pipe, and then it's got this really cute like ghost and crescent moon detail on the back. Um, and then when you open it, it's like the same detail but etched in silver on the candle. Like, why were you not focused? Because it's so cute. There we go. This is a lot more of a musky scent. It's not something I typically go for but it smells so good and I couldn't resist the cute little ghosty design and I also really love the box that it came in so I think I'm going to keep this maybe just like turn it around this way and then I don't know fold it some tissue paper maybe store something in there I don't know but it's really cute this candle was 5 dollars so um not as much candle for the price as the pumpkin honey one but it's so cute I give them this that is everything I've picked up so far for Halloween 2018 um, if you look back to my last Halloween videos you'll see that I bought a ton more like I said it's a mixture of um, shops just not putting out a lot of stuff that I'm into or that is cute <laughs> um, and also I'm trying to save money and not overspend like I've been doing for the past three years um, yeah so not as much stuff um, as I usually get but still quite a lot um, let me know in the comments what your favourite thing is that you found this Halloween, whether you bought it or not. Send me pictures on Instagram. A really cute girl, I can't remember her username, I want to say it's Lulu something, I'm so sorry, sent me a video of all these living dead dolls that she found. They were just so cute, I was like, I need all of them. And they have one of the nun from the new film, The Nun, which I need in my life, so probably gonna get that at some point um yeah so tag me in cute stuff when you find it take pictures of it send it to me i love halloween cute spooky shit yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video love you guys and see you next time